you attract the anointing or you receive the anointing when you serve. Because when you serve, you are at a greater opportunity of rubbing shoulders with that which carries the anointing. So when you know how to rub shoulders through serving, the anointing comes on your life. Are we together? But I want us to get to this part. Maybe we'll touch on serving another time. I want us to get on this part. Point number three, you have to yield. You have to what? Yield. You have to yield. Very, uh, very important word and powerful word. Amen. Yes. Okay? Yes. Uh, go, go to the front. Go to the front. Yeah, go. You have to know how to? Yield. You have to know how to yield. Can I have an usher? It don't matter. An usher. Okay. Uh, come, come here, please. Stand here. All right. Look at me. Look at me. All right. Lift up your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Okay? I'm going to pray for you. All right. Come also. Please stand here. I'm going to pray for you. Lift up your hands. Can I have another usher this side? Look at the church. Okay. Now, okay, give me your hands like this, like this, like this. I'm praying for them, okay? Sit down, sit down, sit down. No worry, no worry, no worry. I want to show you something. The anointing is precious. Amen. Okay, let me start here. In Jesus' name. Can you clap hands for Jesus? He says they need a, go stand next to him. He says they need a double portion. Okay. We're going somewhere. How are you, sir? Is it your first time here? Come, come, stand here, please. Come, stand here. Give me your hands. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Okay. The mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> listen. Listen, listen, listen. Are you learning something? Wait. Focus. Focus. How many times do you come to church a week? I, I minister, so every week. Every week. Yeah. Oh, you are a minister of the gospel. Yeah. You have a, your own church? Yes. Glory be to Jesus. Can we clap hands for Jesus? Now, he's a minister. Yes. Mind you, listen. How often do you get prayed for? Not a lot. How many times are they in church? The difference in the reaction is determined by the ability to yield. He is not prayed for all the time. So his ability to yield is never really there because he does not expect anybody to pray for him. Because he is the one that is ready to pray for others. So there's no way he's in church praying for people, thinking that as he prays for somebody, he's going to receive. So his ability to yield is determined by how often he is ready to receive the anointing. Ah! I wish you could understand what I'm talking about. Now, let me tell you something. Yeah. Have you ever heard of this thing that they say the cameraman never dies? Yeah. 
Have you heard of that? That the cameraman, the cameraman knows how to capture those that die. There can be a nuke that is dropped on a place, but the cameraman will record that. How often do you see the camera crew falling under the power? Huh? Are you here? Talk to me now. How often do you see? Listen, how many times have we heard that there's chaos there in that room? What's going on? No, as you release the anointing, everyone in that room fell down. Have we ever heard such a story? No. That someone is not able to operate there in that room because someone is under the anointing. No. You know why? Because none of them come to church expecting to be prayed for. I don't want you to, to mix my words. They come to church to serve. They come to church, they love God. But none of them as they serve are expecting to be called to get, come receive the anointing. So because of that, even when the anointing is released, in their minds they are not saying I should receive as well. They are saying let me do my work. So that those who are watching online can see what is happening here. So they do not receive because their ability to yield is not there. I'm going somewhere. Please, please take your seats before you collapse again. Please take your seats. 